Hi guys, all joining again with another video. This is Gran Turismo Sport and it's played on PS4.
So uh, it's important if you take note of what I'm going to say now. Um, this video is a complete intermediate, uh, well, beginner, I think it is, I can remember, driving school part of Gran Turismo. So it means basically you've got a task and you do it and you got to do it in a certain time and you get uh, gold, silver, bronze reward, you know, bronze you know, reward then yes, because you get points and stuff, credits. And after you've done so many, you can unlock cars and stuff like that. So for this video, because I'm new to the game anyway, i am started off doing this uh, this course thing. And it's the complete first one. And it may not be the best to watch as, you know, because I'm not actually racing and stuff on this. Um, but it's still, you know, I suppose it's kind of interesting, so you know what the game's about. Because the game is, all Gran Turismo games are always massive. And this is no different. And, um... I've edited the best way I can. It's not it's not really that smooth because I've cut out like bits and pieces between. And I, this is the first time playing the game, but there's not some of these courses I've done like several times. So I'm obviously showing you the best clip that I've done in each one. Not courses, um, tasks. That's the word, yeah. The um, so starts are very simple. You know, driving a straight line, brake. You know, stuff like that. And it gets more complex as it goes along. You've got to take corners. You've got to get the right line to take the corners, and you've also got to do it within a certain time. If you don't find it boring, it's not for you. And I understand. And I've got 400 odd videos, like plenty of other videos to watch. If you don't like this one, and I promise the next part of Gran Turismo, if um, I do it, I will not do the driving school next. I will do some of the campaign then. So sit back. Let me know what you think. So as I said, it starts off very easy, um, but even tasks like this, uh, where you got to stop in a straight line, they, give, they then do it in faster cars, so obviously you accelerate quicker, 
so you've got a greater baking distance and stuff like that so you know there's all bits and bits, things to it like but I decided if I'm gonna obviously I don't know when I start playing a game I don't know how successful it's gonna be so I presume every game I start is going to be the game that really t people love on the channel and uh, you know keep on watching and stuff. So I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, I have to really start this from the beginning. So this is why I've started off with the driving school, and it may be like you know not the best for you to watch, but I'm hoping I'm entertaining enough to see it through. So, as you can see, I think it's every eight races you get, uh, eight races, eight tasks you complete, you get a car. So, obviously, it's an important part of the game because if you don't do this, you miss out on the cars and so on and so on. So, you know. So, there we go. But as you also see, the, mo the more you do, the harder the tasks become. And you might look at it and you think, oh, that's easy to go on. But you've literally got to do it with a certain time as well. You haven't got like all the time in the world to take the bend and get a perfect line. You've got to do it like fast as you can and stuff like that. And if you're playing like racing games every day, then it'll be absolute doddle for you. But with me, I I go like years without playing racing games, so it's like I have to like start again, so to speak. And it's the first time I've actually played this game. I've had the game for years, and it's after watching uh, through through but Bad dirty. This video, if I said that right, he does a lot of Gran Turismo games, uh, videos, and after watching him playing them, I've got to be honest, this is the reason I started this up. Also, I played Forza recently, and I had a lot of feedback and stuff, very nice feedback from it. So again, that's the reason 
I thought about trying this. But as I said earlier, if you uh, can stomach this video, then the next video I'll actually do the campaign and you can see how bad I am on that and um, we'll go from there. I think it's this one I had a little bit of trouble with. I think short is this one. I think. I was one of them anyway, like this. And the reason I had trouble with it is was you had to like obviously get the racing line to get the, around the corner properly. But as you got to the corner, you had to go uphill. So you couldn't obviously drop the throttle or brake too soon because you had to get up the hill. And then you could also not go too too fast because you wouldn't take the bends, so it was a little bit tricky and um, you know I got there in the end but it, it did make it, if it had been dead like flat it would have been ten times easier but it made me some more challenging and I do think this driving school section on the game for somebody new to games like this it really would be helpful, even helpful for me and I'm you know I'm, I'm not a beginner I so to speak some of these games but I did find it useful because if you don't know how to do it, it will teach you how to do it, which I think is a really good thing. And I'm not sure how big this uh, driving school goes because I've only complete. This is the complete in the first part of it. When you do that, it unlocks another part of it, which I'm not going to do in the next video. I'm just going to do campaign, as I said, but I will do it in future videos if people like this. I'll have a go anyway. I probably do bad there, but I'll try. Um. And so getting back to the channel, we've um, got Wreckfest video lined up, hopefully be tomorrow. I saw Curse of the Dead Gods, I've got that one lined up. Um, I think them two have got lined up after this one. 
Let's see how this one goes first. And so there we go. Is this one I had trouble with? I don't think I even got, I didn't even get gold on this one, I can't remember now. Um, yeah, because this one's got an incline as you take the bend. So it's, it's a bit challenging. I like it, you know? It's good to make you think. Because, you know, generic, vid, you know, gaming racing videos, you've got the same, you've got no incline, you've got the same, well, you've got the thing to, you know, you just get used to the lines, you get into the line, boof, take the corner, job done. When you've got, like, to think, a little bit more it's like hmm okay um but yeah there we go so please let me know what you think if you want to see more parts of Gran Turismo be very interested be interested in any feedback on this actually I don't have PSN plus at the moment but I'm going to because I plan to do some races with um, true baddy is that how you pronounce his name plan to do hopefully get, get in his lobby and do some races with him at some point so I will be getting PSN Plus so I can do that. Um, but yeah, I, I did enjoy this anyway. Some parts were quite frustrating. Some parts of this I did, and I was like two or three seconds off the bronze time. I thought, oh my god, what am I what am I doing wrong? But you soon you keep revisiting it, and you soon get to know you know the tracks. 
which is 90% of it. Once you know the tracks, know where the, the turns are and know where everything is, it's, it's a little bit easier then. But anyway, I didn't get gold on every part of this, this uh, driving school bit, mainly because some bits I found trickier than others. I'm no expert either. And time constraints as well, because I've got a certain amount of time to record a video, and if it goes beyond that time, I'm pretty much like, you know, buggered, and I really don't have the time to carry on. So, a few ones are a bit more tricky than others, I just had to leave it from what they were. I haven't gone no less than silver in any video. And even the silver videos, you can see I'm very close to the blonde, the blonde, the gold time. And so, you know, yes, it is what it is, isn't it? But, and even the very last track, which I can't going to say what that is, I had two goes on that, and that's all I had. I really ran out of time. Um... But there we go. So please let me know any feedback. Let me know what you think. So, um, yeah, getting back to the channel, the channel's doing really well, um, we seem to have, I don't know if it's something to do with YouTube or what, I'm not sure, we have the issues with, as I said, we lost watch time and views and uh, comments now, recently, but as most people do, get that same problem as well, but I noticed with subs wise, recently, it's like, I'm stuck on same amount of subs for a couple of days and all of a sudden then I'll get like three four all at once and it'll be stuck then for a few days 
then I might have five or six all at once. It's almost like um, YouTube is checking them out first before they have, have people sub to me, or, or it could be just be coincidence. I'm actually obviously glad to get the subs. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but it just seems a bit weird, you know. Uh, it always been up to now like have a sub here and there, like one here and there, not like groups of like several subs all at once and then nothing again. You know, you see what I mean? It seems a bit weird, but you know it doesn't matter. It's all good. Anyway, we're on course to try and hit 750 subs by the end of September. I'm hoping to reach it by the end of August, but that's, you know, it's probably going to be kind of fine to do that. At the time of recording this, we're on 714. So we gained 14 uh, odds uh, this month so far, which is pretty good because not even a week has gone. So in theory, if that carried on, I could hit 750 by the end of the month, but we don't know if it's going to carry on. Um, to be honest, it, it'll happen when it happens. The only thing I'd like to get a thousand subs for because is like so I can start a community page and hopefully be more be able to communicate with my uh, subscribers better and stuff like that. Because the monetize side of it, it would gonna take years. I'm way off the mark with that. Like I'm nearly three quarters of the way to a thousand subs, but I'm not even halfway to getting the watch time I need. To, to um, you know, get monetized, so it, it's a long way off, and I, it doesn't bother me. I'm enjoying this, you know. I enjoy making videos. It's not a chore to me. If it becomes a chore, I just take a day off. I upload almost every day. At the moment, I can't always do it, but at the moment, I can. But when I can't, then I can't. It doesn't matter, you know. It's not the end of the world. Some people, you see the videos, is oh please sub or I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be so down or. I'm gonna, you know, get a life. You know, it's it's a hobby. It's a game. It, you you're doing something you love. I was thinking earlier on. I was recording breakfast earlier, and I thought to myself, it'd be lush one day if this is my job. And maybe I'll never be. Maybe it will be. I don't know. But it's such a nice thing. Playing stuff I enjoy. Doing something I enjoy. And you guys are there. Some of you like obviously like watching me as well. And it's like you know that's what it should be about, isn't it? Like uh, my paranormal channel, it, it gained success very fast. I did, yeah. Um, and I earned a fair bit of money off it. I've got to be honest with you. But the stress and the toll on on myself, my mental health and physical health, it was just not you know, worth it. I'm not saying I'm not going to go back to it. I'm just saying it, it really affected me in my life, big time. Whereas I've never really, this so far, I don't think it's caused me any stress. Obviously I get you know, paid off when I lose 30 views off a video or I lose watch time. And yes, it you, 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 you pays you off for a day or so. And then you just get back on the horse the next day and get on with it again. You know, just do it. But anyway, I'll stop going on. I realise I've talked for quite a long time here. But uh, so I'm losing my voice a bit as well. But there we go. Sorry about that. It wasn't driving school beginner, uh, intermediate. It was driving school beginner is what I've just done. Intermediate is the next part. But I'm not, as I said, I will be doing uh, some campaign next video if if I continue with the series. So until next time, I bid you all bye for now. Stay safe.